this is my current setup and as you can see i've got an ftdx10 i've got three monitors i've got my main ftdx10 display over here but i also have in windows a windowed version which i can move around between monitors and i'm going to show you how i did that stay tuned Hi, welcome back to the channel and this is a very quick video to explain how I've got my various monitors and everything set up with my Yaesu FT-DX10 and a quick caveat before we start this video which is to say that this is how I do it I know there have been issues with people connecting uh, USB to HDMI converters to the FT-DX10 and the FT-710 and even the FT-DX101 uh, so you do this at your own risk I have included the parts that I use the specific parts because they are high quality I wouldn't use anything cheaper and I've been using this for a few months now and I've not had any problems with it at all now at the moment as you can see on the right hand monitor here we have the FT-DX10 display playing directly to the monitor and that's because it goes for, to a DVI splitter and one of those leads then runs to the DVI port on this monitor. But you may want to run this particular display in windowed mode on one of your other monitors. And how I do that is the other side of the DVI splitter, which is down there, goes to DVI to HDMI lead and that hdmi lead goes to a hdmi to usb video capture card by having a video capture card connected directly into my computer i can then actually capture the video that comes directly into the computer from the ftdx10 so in summary i have one display which is permanently on and attached to the radio but if you only have two monitors and you maybe want to run this in windowed mode what you want to do is take your dvi lead to a US to sorry DVI to HDMI and HDMI capture card to USB I've put links in the descriptions for those parts and where I got them once you've done that we use a program called OBS this is OBS that's on the screen now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and create a new scene and we'll call this scene display Now in the display, we're going to add a source and that will be a video capture device. And now we'll call this the FT-DX10. And from the drop down menu, we're going to select a USB video input. And as you can see, it pops up our display there. We're gonna leave everything default as it is and click OK and maybe just make sure that's centered there. Now, I can now right click on this and select windowed projector view, which will then give me a windowed version of this display, which I can move around anywhere I want on my screen. So if I want to have say station master here, but I wanna see on the screen as well, my FTDX10 display, then it's been displayed there. And it's real time, so as I'm moving the VFO knob on the radio, you can see that it's moving on the screen as well. And with OBS here, I can minimize that. I can take this, I can put it on one of my other screens. So if you've only got two monitors, but you want this up on your monitor, that's how we do it. We're using a DVI to HDMI lead, link in the description a HDMI to USB capture card, again, link in the description, and that goes into the computer. The other thing that I would say if you're gonna do this is that you will need to use a dedicated USB port just for the capture card on your computer. If you try and use something like a USB hub, what'll happen is the bandwidth gets overloaded and it won't actually display this properly. So that's how I did it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the thumbs up and maybe give me a subscribe as well. See you in the next one.